Welcome to our series, Moving America Forward. Each week we'll be focusing on America's entrepreneurs as they take us to new roads, new opportunities, new ways to fill the gaps left by today's failing companies. Our series will be looking at that and a lot more. So come with me and watch as the entrepreneurs of our nation move into the future. And I'm Doug Llewellyn here in our studios in Los Angeles with our guests who are the co-founders of a company known as Global Domains International, which is headquartered in Carlsbad, California. To begin, Michael, a short while ago you had a chance to uh, chat and answer a few questions from William Shatner. Let's take a quick look at how that went, just a brief portion of it, okay? Okay. All right, let's roll the tape. I know that you're deeply involved in the technology field, but what are some of your advancements and how is it helpful? to move America forward. Well, Mr. Shatner, as we all know, uh, the internet started here in America, and it's obviously become one of the world's most important global resources. Our company was founded in 1999, and although we have thousands of English-speaking customers in every country, the global market is still in its infancy, and that's for a very good reason. We're focused on helping the billions of internet users now who are out there who don't use English as their primary language to access websites directly using their own native character sets. As the global registry for all .ws domain names worldwide, our company fully intends to become the most recognized top-level domain on the planet, setting the global standard, much like .com did here in the United States, but for English-speaking users. Our company is also unique in that we pay out 50% of all revenue brought to us from our domestic and our global affiliate base worldwide. So, in addition to solving the Internet's biggest problem, we're also offering the chance for people all over the world to earn a significant extra income from home, no matter where they live on the planet. Michael, that is really absolutely fascinating what you were pointing out to William Shatner. Let me ask you something. Sure. Most people have no idea of what goes on in the Internet, but why is it so critically important, as you pointed out, that your company is now making it possible for people in other lands to use their own native language and their, you know, their own... Sure. Um, the biggest way, I think, to illustrate the, the issue is imagine if the Internet had just started in uh, China, for example. And to get onto the internet and go to a specific site, you had to type in Chinese characters. We'd be up the creek. I, I wouldn't even try. Would yeah, you? I wouldn't either, no. 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 Um, so therein lies the problem, because not everybody speaks English. You're, you've come up with a system to make it easier. Yes. Is that how it works? What, I, I, what, is, what is your version of this, Alan? How do you explain I, the, it? The way we've uh, say, conquered this problem is given the, the users, the ability to now on their keyboard when they're typing in in their character set to easily get to the websites that they're used to typing okay. in the character set that they know. So that in, in a nutshell yeah. is the key. In the same time you've come up with an, a domain name that is different from what everybody else is kind of fairly familiar with right. but that is going to work on a worldwide basis. Right. Even though right. I guess most of them work on a worldwide basis. They most do. people are familiar with .com, you know, .net, .org. Mm -hmm. TV, you know, for, for <laughs> right. this, this field. But what domain name is it that you yeah. have acquired? Our company uh, administers the domain name .ws, which stands for uh, website. Right. If you have the Latin or English-based alphabet uh, character set. Right. Or world site, if it's any of the other, uh, of the dozens of different native character sets that are used on the planet, uh, which is a vast majority. And as you pointed internet. out, there's a huge advantage to the WS, website or world site. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, well, you know, everybody, there's over 2 billion people on the internet right now. Um, right. You know, the, the, now it's become very much the minority are strictly English speakers. Yet, during the whole growth of the internet, there have been used uh, what are called bilingual keyboards. So right. what you see is a, a normal looking keyboard to us, but it's, you know, it's got our alphabet on it, but below each letter, it's also got the corresponding um, keys or, or the characters for that particular language. So individuals uh, going to sites like a .com, that's all they had in the beginning, right. or .net or .org, uh, where they're used to typing in 
uh, in their, uh, you know, our language character set, the ones right. that were bold enough to do it, right. um, and typing uh, .com or toggling it. Now, uh, our video on our site explains this very clearly. It's actually a very, very critical thing. But the, the idea is that if you look at the keyboard, .com is just kind of all over the place, and .com. So the, and there's three letters there. Right. .ws is really nice because you just type the dot and then ws right there. It's and very close together. And on our keyboard, the w and s are on top of each. One's on top yeah, of w it's really and easy then to s. Use. Is right, they're right there. Yeah, which to us um, makes it clear that as far as um, global use for, for users of any language, since they're used to doing that anyways, it's in perfect position for them to use it uh, for their own native language characters. So it's characters really like. ease. It's ease of use. From very, that very easy. Yeah. Now, as far as the affiliate program goes, um, Why don't we let Alan explain it? Sure, that? sure. I, you know, I think the biggest opportunity we give in the affiliate program is that imagining dialing the clock back 20 years now, and if you didn't, you had the opportunity to buy the first dot com names. So right. these affiliates mm -hmm. out there now are saying, okay, I can buy business.ws in that character set that they're familiar with, whether it's in Hindi, Hebrew, Cyrillic, whatever it may be. Right. So not only can they buy that name, in that character set, they could promote a program in their country with their character set to, for other people to do the same thing. And that's something that we've kind of opened up compared to, say, 20 years ago when dot-com came about, most people didn't think there was going to be as much value. So that's what the affiliate program really does in that new character set program. So what do you see for the future of this? Amazing things. Like Alan was talking about, um, we only you know, have if 20 you, seconds left. What, super what quick. Think, yeah. <laughs> well, if, if you could have gotten a premium dot com, uh, you know, back in the beginning for a few bucks and sold it for a few million, like it's happened countless times, yeah. you'd be a pretty happy guy. The opportunity has just been replicated except on maybe a scale that's 50 or so times bigger. Well, it's just an extraordinary story. To learn more about it, you really have to invest in depth on your website and there's much right. more information. Gentlemen, this is really interesting. I want to learn more. I'm going to go study that website. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. This organization represents companies across our great nation that embody the spirit, dedication, know-how, and can-do attitude which has made America the great nation it is today. And now let's present the Keeping America Strong Award. Now it's my honor to present this very prestigious award to Michael Starr and Alan Ezir, the co-founders of Global Domains International, headquartered in San Diego, for the outstanding work they're doing to help keep America moving forward. Gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you, sir. This is a great honor. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'm William Shatner, and for all of us at Moving America Forward, thanks for watching.